This is Dr. Josh Bernstein. Today we're going to talk about dental implants. Chances are if you're tuning into this video, you've lost a tooth and you're interested in replacing it with a dental implant. And we would like to help you with that. There are a number of steps that we need to go through in order to properly place a dental implant and we're going to go through these steps in this short video. The first thing that we want to do is a complete exam. We'll have a consultation with you to find out exactly what it is that you want. We'll take photographs, we'll take x-rays, we'll examine the gums and the supporting bone. We'll do an oral cancer exam. We'll talk to you and see if you have any signs or symptoms of any other disease. We'll look at your jaws and check on, on your bite and make sure that your bite is okay. We'll take models of your mouth. We'll look and see if orthodontics is something that needs to be done. And we'll look at you in terms of the cosmetics of your mouth as well. Photos and x-rays are very helpful because we can get a good idea of what we need to do and what we have to work with. After we get photos and x-rays, we'll take impressions of your mouth so that we can make accurate models of your mouth so that we can study your case. From the models of your mouth, we'll make what's called a scanning appliance. A scanning appliance is used so that we can take a CT scan of the jaws and see what the bone looks like in three dimensions. An x-ray is helpful, but it really only, sees, only lets us see the jaw in two dimensions. Having that third dimension is enormously helpful to determine what the supporting bone is like when you're about to have an implant. Here's a picture of a patient with the scanning appliance in place. This appliance is only worn for a few minutes while you're having the CT scan. Once we've tried in the scanning appliance, We'll take a, a CT scan of your jaws. A CT scan takes about 20 seconds. The CT scan gives us an enormous amount of information. It shows us your jawbone and the skull structures in all kinds of different dimensions. Cross section, lateral view, top view, front view, and it gives us a three dimensional picture of your jaws and your skull as well. Once we load the CT information into our implant planning uh, software, then we can plan the case completely on the computer and see from all different directions exactly where we want to place the implant. Here's the side view, here's the top view, and here's the front view. And here's the view in three dimensions. Implant planning software is enormously helpful to allow us to see vital structures such as the nerves that, su that supply sensation to your teeth and to your jaw. When we're placing implants, we certainly want to avoid some of these vital structures. Once we plan the implant case on the computer, then we have the CT scanning appliance converted into a surgical guide. And the, sur the surgical guide allows us to very precisely place the implant exactly where we want to place it in the jawbone. When we use a CT guided surgical plan, it allows safer, more precise, easier placement of the implant so that we can get better final results. After we have a plan made, we want to talk it over with you. We want to discuss what your treatment options are, answer any questions you have, arrange for sedation if that's something that we need to do with you. And of course, we want to talk about the financials as well and schedule your treatment. Having dental implants and replacing teeth with dental implants is one of the most outstanding services that's provided in dentistry today. It allows patients to have more confidence, laugh and smile more, give you better overall health because dental implants support the bone so that bone isn't lost over time. 
people who have dental implants feel younger, they look better, and for patients who have dentures, it allows the dentures to feel more secure as well. If you're interested in dental implants, I hope you'll give us a call. You can reach us on the web at www.allnewsmiles.com. That's www.allnewsmiles.com. Thank you very much for tuning in.